Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, look what I got! Everyone needs a friend, right? Even a Black Widow Spider. So what we have here is we have an older female Black Widow Spider. They're both females. And she's not looking all that good. Kind of looking shriveled. So I put a friend in there with her. So what's going on? Why does she look shriveled? She laid three egg sacs within a two-week period. I know, bizarre. Cranking out the spider babies. Horrible. So we have the, another spider we put in with her. It's a newer habitat. We cleaned it up, slapped this other spider with her. And I'm going to say something right now. Actually, I'm going to ask you a question. What kind of spider is this we put in with a black widow? Dun, 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 dun. That should give you a hint right there. Okay? Yes, it looks like a black widow. And it might even be a black widow. But I'll tell you right now, it's not a black widow. This is a false widow. A false black widow. Don't confuse a false widow with a false black widow. This is a false black widow. They look like a black widow. They are not as dangerous as a black widow. I mean, a bite can still get you, but they are mostly benign. People refer to them as cupboard spiders sometimes. So, you got black widow. And like I said, she's looking pretty older and <laughs> shriveled up from cranking out them spider babies. You feed them too much, they crank out too many spider babies. That's just what it is. But we figured we'd give her a friend. So this is, a, like I said, older Black Widow. She only has seven legs. You'll notice that. She's been in several videos. She lost a leg early on, and she's just been doing her spider thing. We have Dubai roaches in here, and there's some crickets. You give spiders plenty of food, they can live together with no problem. You don't have food for them, then they will compete, and they will eat each other. But everyone needs a friend, right? At least that's the theory we're going by right now. You know, maybe she'd get lonely. So we, you know, like I said, we put the friend in there. This creepy spider, I'm not going to tell you where I found it. You know, it's a very creepy spider. And at first glance, like I said, you will think, oh, it's a Black Widow spider. A lot of the false Black Widows... Well, yeah, let's get to know each other. Ah! A lot of the false black widows will look just like a black widow sometimes, depending on the light, and then sometimes they'll look more brownish or purplish. Wow, they are slinging a web at each other. Hey, just getting to know you. Then they went to their respective sides and said, hey, you be a spider, I'll be a spider, we're fine. So depending on the lighting, a false black widow will look just like a black widow or it'll look brownish or purplish. The shape of the body... Sometimes in right lighting, it makes it look almost flat. Some false black widows are so brown that they don't really look anything like a black widow. They don't look like a brown widow either because that's completely different. One of the other telltale signs of a false black widow is on its back, you'll see some very faint white markings. And if you look at it in the right direction under the, the proper light, it looks like a face. Kind of like an old face of an old president on a on you know a hundred dollar bill or twenty dollar bill twenty dollar bill Andrew Jackson or something hundred would be Benjamin Franklin doesn't look like Benjamin Franklin or George Washington for that matter or Abraham Lincoln so you got this old dead president look to it if you look at it in the right light in this bright light this spider looks black so if you were to see this false black widow I'm telling you right now consider it to be a black widow. You can't just count on a red hourglass. We've talked about that in other videos. The red hourglass will be there, but sometimes it will be invisible, and you need to have magnification. It's an airplane flying by. I'm trying to film a video. All right, I'm still going to keep talking because the spiders are keep being spiders. So not in this video, but I will show you another video after this one, which definitely proves 100% that this is a false black widow, not a misidentified black widow. And really quick, we had a video several years ago where I showed it, it looked like a black widow. No one knew for sure what it was. That is not a black widow. There's no red hourglass. And then we flipped it upside down, put it under the microscope, and you could clearly see the hourglass mark, and it was just so faint. But it was there. But because the false black widow can so much look like a regular black widow, it is not worth the risk to say, that's a false black widow. I don't care about it. And remember, false widow, false black widow. Two separate spiders. They don't even look like each other. The false black widow looks like a black widow. As in this case, if I 
didn't tell you this is a false Black Widow, you're going to say, hey, that's a Black Widow spider. Because you're not seeing its abdomen, the bottom part. You're not seeing the red hourglass or lack thereof. So the naysayers couldn't dispute it and say, there's no hourglass. But those of you who know, because you've watched my videos before, you know all Black Widow spiders don't have that red hourglass. And as you can see right here, as we're talking away, that spider is cleaning itself, cleaning off its feet. And apparently she has no problem adapting to where she's living now. She's that other spider, you know, they'll talk to each other once in a while, sling some web at each other. And check it out. She hunted really quick. She went down and caught that Dubai roach. I went, the phone rang, I went to the other room, I came back and she caught a roach. And then promptly, the other spider, the real Black Widow, went and took her prime location, prime real estate, her resting spot, dead center in Black Widow. That's where they want to be. You got these two... Oh, we're going back up here. And from this light, you can see the false Black Widow looks brownish. So like I said, the lighting kind of changes how it looks. And you see how shriveled the real Black Widow is here. But like I said, she cranked out way too many egg sacs. In the last couple months, she's probably cranked out five or six total egg sacs. No, more than that. Eight in the... But definitely three within the last two weeks, which is bizarre. So at this angle, you can almost see the faint markings of the face on the false Black Widow's back. Black Widow, false Black Widow, yeah. yeah but they're just hanging out next to each other. You see their locations have reversed. <laughs> Very creepy. So look at the long front legs on the false Black Widow. Looks just like a Black Widow. The stance, how it's standing. But at this angle, you see the body, it almost looks like it's a flat surface back there. You can just see a little marks. But like I said, we get to a different angle, it will look just like a Black Widow. Because some regular Black Widows can have a slight brown tinge to them. Sometimes they'll be purple. Sometimes they will be super bright, shiny black. Sometimes they will be flat black. When identifying spiders, Especially a Black Widow, you don't just look for the hourglass, you look for how it stands, you look for what its web looks like, you look for what its egg sacs look like, that's most important, because the egg sacs of these two spiders are totally different. You have to look at the overall totalitarianism, like that, of the spider, its look, its stance, its, its how it's acting, slight color variations, and that's how you can determine which spider is which. All right, so do you have false black widows in your area? Do you have real black widows in your area? Do all of these creep you out? It doesn't matter. You don't want to be bit by either of these, really. So leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.